Responsible Eating and Living launched in July of 2011 to bring you the truth and tools for health, wellness, and green living. Real information from experts in the plant-based food movement and real programs like It's All About Food and real plant-based recipes from around the world so you too can learn to do Real, real America! Get no kick from champagne! Hi, we're back hey. and we've saved the best for last. Strawberry shortcake. Tell them how simple it is because I can't believe how fast you made those uh, strawberry shortcake biscuit yes, bun well, things. The recipe for our shortcake is at ResponsibleEatingAndLiving.com. It's gluten-free, made with all-purpose gluten-free flour. And it's a traditional shortcake recipe just using gluten-free flour. So if you check out our website, you can find out how it's made. It's just You just put it all together, cut in the shortening drop it on the baking sheet, bake it, and you're ready to go. And the cream, you know, I used to think, well, I can no longer have cream, and you know, I must admit, I was really into cream. Yeah. Uh, sweetened cream with a little vanilla. And then, another book, another chef that Karen has talked to, Tal Ronan, oh, let me get that. introduced me to something called cashew cream. Now this is a jar of raw cashews that have soaked for about 24 hours. And I'm gonna turn these raw cashews, after I drain them, into the most delicious cream. It's it's more it's more delicious than any dairy cream I've ever had. And trust me, I've eaten a lot of dairy cream. So let's talk about Tal's book. Right. So anyway, the recipe's at responsibleeatingandliving.com. There are many different variations, but it's so simple, it's just pretty much cashews and water. But uh, Gary learned about that from Tal Ronan's book, and Tal is all over the place these days, working with a product. Yeah, artist. how did he? How did he come onto the scene? Uh, someone, he was someone chef, someone famous. Oh, so, uh, oh, oh, Oprah. Oprah. <laughs> that's a big. Right. That's a bunch of O's there, and you that's did right. you did Oprah yeah, up. So what I did was I drained the cashews. I rinsed them first, and then I re-soaked them again. So they have been rinsed once. I drain them, and I'm putting them in a blender. It doesn't have to be a $700 expensive 400 horsepower blender. This is just a very inexpensive um, blender that you can find. We, we blend everything in that simple blender. Too. Right. Not to say that those expensive blenders that can blend, you know, car parts aren't awesome because they are. And of course, we like to have one someday, but this will do fine until we do. Now, another little bit about cashew cream. You can make it the consistency of like a heavy, 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 thick custardy cream, or you can thin it. I could fill this whole container with water, give this thing a good spin, and it would be like manufacturing cream for you chefs out there, or be like heavy whipping cream for people using it in their dishes at home like fettuccine alfredo. This actually has more fat content than dairy cream. But it's good fat yeah. and it's compassionate fat. Talk about that please. Compassionate fat, yes. I'm doing two, about two heaping tablespoons of powdered sugar. I like it a little sweet so I'll go three. Don't tell Karen. And, uh, we also want to mention that's organic, vegan confectioner sugar. Another thing about sugar so although there aren't animal products in the actual sugar cane, there are animal products that are used in conventional processing of sugar, like charred animal bones. So we make sure that our sugar doesn't use those products. And it's I know, I, I, you know, you could use um, vanilla extract. I just used almond extract. I like it to have a little marzipani almondy mm. taste to put on these. It just gives it another kick. Of course, if you don't like almond extract, don't worry about it. But this is organic almond extract. It's simply organic. Oh, I can smell it from here. Right. And, uh, okay, so now the fun part comes. I fill it, if I want a real thick, heavy cream um, that is like a custardy cream, as I said, I just give it about that much. And I'm telling you, this is pretty cool. Watch this. <laughs> I guess we should plug it in. <laughs> This is really starting to get where we want it. It's really starting to come together. Look at that. Is that beautiful? The color, everything. The texture. 
I'm gonna give it one more spin, and then we're gonna assemble this thing. What do you think? Mm, Look at that. Good. Should we try okay, one? Okay, I think we should. Okay. <laughs> so, as you can see, that's a pretty thick custardy cream, and you can go thicker if you want or thinner. And the wonderful thing about cashew cream is that it works both savory and sweet. As I mentioned before, if you like fettuccine alfredo, this actually reduces a lot faster than heavy cream, if you can believe it. You throw a little bit of this in the pan, you toss it with some pasta, you throw in some nutritional yeast, maybe a little miso. There's so many great recipes. And again, we have so many amazing interviews at ResponsibleEatingAndLiving.com. The podcasts that of uh, people, cookbook authors, um, they're, they're, I mean, you can see all of these books here. And um, while Karen is assembling the shortcake... No, we all want you to assemble. Okay, great, let's switch. Oh, you assemble it. All right. So, here's how I assemble it. I'll put a little bit, and I was going to say, what are some of your other favorite dessert cookbooks that you've interviewed? Oh, some gosh. Of the... Well, Fran Costigan, the diva Dairy Free, has great good dairy free desserts. Do, and... do we have a copy of that book? Because I think sure everybody, do. everybody needs to see that book, because I like Fran, and I want to give a shout out to Fran. She's also got another book coming out. She's got a chocolate, vegan chocolate cookbook. It's gorgeous. Right, I saw it the other night online and I want to see my own personal copy signed to me, Franny. <laughs> Fran's amazing. She's doing great work. I put a little bit of the cashew cream on the bottom. Okay. I put half of the shortcake. Now, this is to your own construction. Now, you can put as much of this cashew cream on top as you want. But, I'm going to then put a lid on it, that's the lid, and I'm going to put a little more on top, oh. just like, this is decadent, this is decadent, and then I like to oh. dust it with a little powdered sugar, and voila. Yeah. Oh my god, is that beautiful, can we try it? Let's, of course we can try it, this is for you, are you kidding? Mm, this is for me. Alright, well, when I make mine, don't forget. All of this can be packaged up and brought to your favorite park or playground that allows you to have picnics. And um, we are going to go to a public park. First, we're going to have a little bit of this. Because we worked hard today. Right, and so have you. You've been great. Thank you for tuning in. Um, before we go, we just want to say once again that uh, you can find everything you need to know about everything we've done here, recipes included, at responsible. ResponsibleEatingAndLiving.com And, um, yeah. R-E-A-L. Real. Right. Real. And the other thing is, you know, um, we've talked a lot about the Swingin' Gourmets, and that's a program that you're going to learn a little bit more about right now. In the Swain Gourmet stage show, we'll be featuring guest chefs. Now, these may be vegan chefs or master chefs who are interested in vegan cuisine or curious about vegan cuisine or just people that we know that are in the vegan movement that we manage to get up on the stage with us and have a little fun and cook some food. But we are also planning on having guest chefs here on our Swing Gourmet video series food show. And I'm really excited about this because there are so many wonderful people in the vegan movement, chefs and activists and nutritionists that love food almost as much as I do. And I'm going to have them come here to Forest Hills and we're going to do a food show together. And I really can't wait. Now I have my It's All About Food radio show where I've interviewed so many vegan chefs, doctors, nutritionists, athletes, and this is another great great way for me to feature their work. As you can see, I have so many different vegan cookbooks here from some of my favorite people, and I hope to get some of them on our Swingin' Gourmet food show right here.